This video is sponsored by Noragon, the commercial vehicle data experts. Visit Noragon.com to learn more. Each generation leaves behind some sort of impactful legacy. Think about it. Baby boomers have Elvis and his scandalous dance moves that rocked a generation. Gen X is iconically remembered as the era of cassette tapes, mixtapes, Walkmans, and of course the epic hairspray-dependent hairstyles. Millennials are known for popularizing reality TV, where they learned vital life skills like drama and catfights and how to survive on an island with limited food supplies and a camera in your face. Wait, is that what we're known for? I don't think I like that very much. But there's Gen Z, the ones credited with the explosion of TikTok, a short-form video platform that redefined how we consume social media and successfully convinced an entire generation that they're good at dancing. Wait, I'm not good at dancing? Ugh, never mind. Comparing them side by side, we can see how far we've come in terms of technology development. And this same concept holds true for the technicians supporting the heavy duty industry. Hi everyone, and welcome to FE's Data Center, the series that aims to make truck data approachable. I'm Alex. And I'm Tess. While some timeless fundamentals remain crucial for successful technician training, like understanding a truck's makeup, having a positive attitude and adaptability, the development of technology is revolutionizing our approach. Technicians now need tech savviness along with traditional skills to navigate diagnostic tools and complex software necessary for servicing the technology-rich vehicle. The next generation of technicians is rapidly approaching and starting to contribute to commercial operations. This means they need to be prepared for the alternative fuel vehicles making their way onto today's roads, whether that's CNG, hydrogen, diesel, hybrids, or EVs. However, it's not solely limited to alternative fuels. Modern systems have evolved significantly compared to 50 years ago, primarily due to the incorporation of even more components and escalating performance demands. The realm of truck technology has expanded to encompass everything from ADOS to autonomous features to powertrain and fuel efficiency advancements. Consequently, individuals working on trucks must now take into consideration a far broader array of factors. Over time, troubleshooting has transformed into a sophisticated art, encompassing an ever-growing array of fault codes and a constant influx of data streaming from our trucks. Ensuring that our systems remain up to date has become a critical aspect of providing effective servicing. That said, it's important to implement ongoing training with your techs as the diagnostic systems could vary slightly with each update. How else can shops build the next generation of technicians to be well versed in the servicing of emerging zero emissions vehicle systems? Let's find out. Training diesel repair technicians to be well versed in servicing zero emissions vehicle systems such as electric and hybrid vehicles requires a combination of various approaches. Here are six methods that diesel repair shops may employ to train their technicians for zero emissions vehicle servicing. The first method involves manufacturer training programs. Diesel repair shops may collaborate with vehicle and component manufacturers who produce zero emissions vehicles. These manufacturers offer specialized training programs designed to educate technicians and help keep them safe while working on high voltage systems. Method two supports continuing education. Shops and fleets can encourage their technicians to pursue continuing education courses, workshops, and seminars focused on electric and hybrid vehicle technologies. These training opportunities are often available through vocational schools, technical colleges, or industry organizations. Method three involves in-house training. Repair shops may allocate resources to develop in-house training programs conducted by experienced technicians who have received specialized training or partnered with experts in the electric vehicle technology. In-house training can include theoretical instruction, hands-on practice, and simulated scenarios to ensure technicians are equipped to handle different servicing requirements. Method four includes cross-training opportunities. Diesel repair shops can provide cross-training opportunities for their technicians. By exposing their diesel techs to zero emissions vehicle systems and vice versa, they can acquire a broader skill set encompassing both traditional and alternative technologies to prepare them for future industry trends. Method five relies on online resources and materials. Diesel repair shops can supplement technician training with online resources like webinars, video tutorials, and digital training modules. Numerous education platforms, including manufacturers' websites, industry forums, and online training providers 
offer valuable information and courses on servicing electric and hybrid vehicles. And last but not least, Method 6 involves hands-on experience. Providing technicians with practical hands-on experience is crucial for their development. Diesel repair shops can ensure their technicians can work on zero emissions vehicles under the guidance of experienced mentors. By actively working on these vehicles, technicians can familiarize themselves with the unique components, systems, and diagnostic procedures of zero emissions vehicle servicing. The next wave of techs is upon us. Make sure they have the wheelhouse to safely and effectively utilize the current emerging technology on the up and coming zero emissions trucks. Alex, that was really inspiring. The next generation has a compelling ring to it. Kind of makes me want to join in the movement. Ain't nothing stopping you from going to tech school and working on trucks. I mean, you know the ins and outs of the data, so what's stopping you from learning the ins and outs of vehicles? Okay. Tess? Thanks, Alex. I owe you one. Technical college, here I come. Oh, you're serious? Okay, well, I guess she found her calling, and um, this is my job now. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.